um, it's a huge pleasure um, to be here, and I'm absolutely delighted to be uh, helping to introduce the fifth Venues Day. Um, I've actually attended all of them uh, from when Music Venue Trust and now the Music Venues Alliance was just a concept uh, through to now. And uh, of course, all of you probably will remember some of the interesting venues we've been to, the Roundhouse, uh, the Ministry of Sound, and now, of course, this well-known nighttime venue, uh, Islington Assembly Hall. Um, there are now uh, 470 venue members of the Music Venues Alliance. It's the largest venue membership organization in Europe, part of a network of over 3,500 venues right across Europe, all of them facing similar challenges to those we have in the UK. And it's a huge credit to Mark and Bev in particular for their vision and dedication in building the MVT to this stage. Now, six years ago, I celebrated the coming into force of the Live Music Act, itself the culmination of a five-year campaign with UK Music, the MU, and many others to deregulate the performance of live music in small venues. But I celebrated too soon. In recent years, there's been a perfect storm of circumstances, resulting in a continuing decline in live music venues. Rising rents business and business rates, property developments, noise complaints, complaints about antisocial behavior, and more, are all conspiring to damage our nighttime economy. As it stands, the cultural contribution of a grassroots group's music venue is not considered at all. Once gone, our venues will not come back into our towns and cities. In response, the work of the Trust and the Alliance across the last four years has exploded in all directions, encompassing the law, planning, licensing, tariffs, live music industry issues, the cultural framework, and it's working on your behalf with all layers of government, the cultural sector, and the music industry. And there are always are new threats which need to be met. Just take business rates. In London alone, the Nordy City study carried out for the Mayor of London last year showed that 21 of London's 94 grassroots venues are at high risk of closure due to business rate increases of an average of 26%. Successful campaigns like Agent of Change are the public-facing outcomes of that work. The introduction of Agent of Change in the National Policy Planning Framework marked a key moment in the fight to protect uh, uh, under threat music venues. Local authorities are legally bound to comply with the NPPF, which means all planning committees must consider the principle when making decisions on applications and in framing their own planning decisions. But again, it's been really important to keep the pressure up on local government to properly adopt the changes and on ministers too to make sure the guidance issued by the government on agent of change is clear. But this day, and the way it's grown, is the most important part of the work of the Trust. Bringing us all together, but maintaining the unique independence of each venue. As Mark says, the Trust believes that you know best how to run your music venue in your town or city. And it's the independence of grassroots music venues as one of the key elements that makes them so distinct and unique. But by working together on the collective challenges and opportunities we face at a national level, it can make it easier for you to do that wherever you are. And every one of the venues represented here today is facing some of the same pressures, whether it's noise, complaints, or a local council that doesn't seem to understand the work that you do. And I don't have to tell you how important music, particularly live music, is in all our lives. Music is powerful socially, culturally, and economically. And many of our best lifetime experiences and memories involve live music. Everything in this fantastic live music industry begins the first time a young person takes a tentative first step onto a stage at one of your venues. Without you, there's nowhere to start and no one in the industry or in government or culture or the creative industries should be allowed to forget that. Thank you very much indeed.